Hey guys, so today we are going to talk about the open component. The open component is basically if you want to change the location, the rotation or the scale of an actor, you can use the open component for that. We have two examples here. For this one, you can see this is rotating and this here is using the translation. Basically, the open component has a bool for either it is open or it is closed. In this case, it's closed, but we can set this here to true and apply the settings and then the door will open or we can just toggle it and the door will close again. The same is true for this example here, but here we have four different open components talking with four different meshes. So this is interesting. Uh, for you to check out if you want to see how to connect multiple open components with multiple meshes like in the, this example here. But first of all, let's have a look at this one here. So the first thing you need is the key. So this is the tag the open component should actually control. In this case, it's mesh underscore door. And if we have a look at our mesh here and scroll down, you will find the same tag here. So the open component knows what to search for. If we open it up here, we have the different settings. The first one here is our range. So we have min and max value. So this is for the closed and this is for the opened one. The next one is our transform itself. So you can choose between linear, angular, or scale. For this example here, we have a rotation, so we want to have the angular. You can define on what axis to actually rotate the mesh, and you can also choose multiple or all axis if you want to. Here you can change the duration, so how fast should the door actually open or close. And here you can choose between different animation curves. Here you can see the different curves and how they apply to the animation. So this really just gives a different feel to the animation you use. For example, if you have like a very mechanical door, you more likely want to have a linear interpolation and for more organic feelings, this ease in and ease out is a pretty good choice. You don't need to change anything in the source info. All of this is set automatically and this one here was to actually change the default state. So if we want it to be open from the beginning, we just set it to true. And of course, the component again has a tag. This is important, like in the previous tutorials. So the track component actually know which component to search for. So in this example, we have our door here. So the button knows it should talk with the door. And this is the component tag of the, of the component it wants to talk with. So very simple example here. We are also going to create a simple example. In this case, wanted to show you how we can, for example, use the scaling. I don't have a scaling door here, but as I said, you don't need to use this component only for for open and closing, you can use it for everything that will change the transform. So we make a new example here and we use a static mesh. So this one here, I'm going to place it here. And you already see, I didn't add any logic to the object itself. I'm just adding it to the instance here in the level. So we add our open component. We need to have a key. So this is something I might want to change in the parent. So the static mesh always has the right tag already. Of course you can add it in here, but I'm going to add it in the blueprint. This is our static mesh. 
Let's copy over that name in here. Next thing is the min and the max value. For this example, let's go for a very small like this and the max value is one. I want to use scaling and I want to scale it on all three axes. The duration, let's make it two seconds. And the default should be on. So in this case, the one. Now we need to connect the button with our statue here. So for this to work, we need a component tag. I use scale statue for this. And in the drag component, I first add my actor itself. So this one here and the component tag I want to talk to is the stale statue. You can see the statue is scaling down. For the next example, I want to make something a little bit more complex. So I'm going to create a new actor here and we create our sliding door. So we have our left door. Let's add a new tag here. And I'm going to duplicate it, call it right. Let's scale it in the opposite direction. Minus one in here. Let's change the component tag. So we have our both doors, the left and the right one. We need two open components in order for this to work. Component open left. Let's start with the left one. So the key here is the component tag from the left door. Let's copy it over. In this case, I want to use linear on the y axis here. And the left door should move in the negative direction. Let's have a look on how far we actually want to move this. Maybe something like 200 might be, might be good. So for the range, we want to lerp between zero and minus 200 on the y axis over, let's say, one second. Hit compile and save. Might be a little too big. So maybe we are going to scale this down. But let's have a look if it is working. Oh, it's actually moving in the wrong direction here. So let's change this. Zero and 200. Yeah, now it's moving in the right direction. Let's duplicate it, call it right. For the right side, we want to use the minus 200 and the tag is actually door underscore right. So now this open component talks with this door here. Let's see if it's working. Yeah. So let's toggle them. This should already be working. Okay, so let's connect our button here. First, I'm going to add the actor itself. So I want to use this actor here and I want to use the component open left and component open right. In order for this to work, we need to add the component tags. 
So this is sliding door left. Let's copy it. And this is sliding door right. Hit compile and save. And let's add both of those tags in here. So we have sliding door left and sliding door right. And let's see how this is working. Perfect. So just to recap, this open component can actually be used for anything where you want to change either the location, the rotation or the transform of, of your component. So thanks for watching and I'm going to see you in the next tutorial. Bye.